That is enough. Let's say hi to the neighbors. It's always good when you're bringing a new project in to reach out to the locals, find out what assistance they can provide, if any. You know, where, where the shopping is, information about the schools, you know, that kind of thing. Hey, Pat, it's Midnight Designer, and we are back. Playing seven days to die. And in our last episode, we found a location. We did a road trip. We found a location for the amazing base. And we are going to be working on construction of same in this episode. But as you can see, I have been crafting like a boss to build the supplies that we will need uh, to get the amazing base up and running uh, because we are going to need supplies for days. So um, it is getting to be morning, so I'm going to collect a few more supplies. And um, after we have finished that, uh, we will come back and we will check out the location. We're probably gonna have to do a little pacifying. Let's see if um, I've got some ammunition. We'll probably need a little bit more maybe because uh, there's a whole area. I haven't killed anything up there. We just drove there. We found our spot. We said, ah, and we marked it. And uh, when we go back, we will start killing foes and it's morning. So uh, we're gonna make that trip I'll probably grab a couple of forges to take with us and uh, when we come back we will be ready to begin the process of building the amazing base so you hold tight Pat and I will be all right back and we're back and we have no room in our inventory so we should probably find some place to drop off a couple of things before we start looting fools. Um, refuse? Yes, please. That's Enug. That is Enug. Let's say hi to the neighbors. It's always good when you're bringing a new project in to reach out to the locals, find out what assistance they can provide, if any. You know, where, where the shopping is, information about the schools, you know, that kind of thing. So we will be doing a little bit of that, talking to these fine folks, and see what they have to say about everything. I don't want your sandwiches. If you'd have made me a nice casserole, that would have been one thing, but sandwiches, I'm not feeling. Okay. Anybody else? There were quite a few, if I remember correctly, from when I skedaddled out of here. So let's do this. And a bonk. Let's see what's over here. Future girl. Anybody else? Anybody else? <gasps> Bueller. Oh. Can't help it. I just can't help it. This is a lot uh, more peaceful than I thought it was going to be. But this is going to be a great location for a base because... Um... It's, uh, it's pretty much got all the biomes. So, we will have access to many different things. Notice how I didn't blow out the glass there? Pretty impressive. Mad skills, yo. Let's see. Wow, midnight. It's an awful lot of warning shots. An awful lot of warning shots. We got some... We got some folks on bonk. Hello? Hello? 
It was unlocked. It was unlocked. I saw that. I lose five points. <gasps> but I won a prize. Where? I hear somebody somewhere. You in the restroom? I think you're outside. There you are. Nice. Sister was holding. I'm confused. Are you in the bunk? You're... Oh, you're literally in the bunk. You're literally... You're literally in the bank. Here, let me help you out. Let me help you out. Does that help? Come on. Come on. Whoa. Um. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. You empty. You empty. All right. We done? But check this out. Check this out. We have desert. We have burnt. We have forest. We have frozen. Let it go. So how extensive is this over here? Can we do this without getting burned? <laughs> oh, this must continue on to others on to other side. Because I was gonna say this is a very tiny burnt biome, and then right next to the frozen. The tundra. And there's a path. The road to nowhere. Chicken. Embers in the snow. Very nice. Alright. So. So we are going to be building the amazing base. And that will be a uh, project that will probably take us a few episodes to complete. Um, the... The image I'm showing you currently, hopefully, if I remember to put it in, is an outline of the base. And we may have to tweak it a little just depending on, like, how things work and how the zombies uh, interact with stuff. But um, what I want to try to do is test the zombie AI to see what do I have where I put my wood, I put my Ood frames. Did I even bring Ood frames? I probably didn't. But I did, um, I did, uh, well, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have rebar, which we can use because we got to do some one, two, three, four, five booyah up in this piece. So we will use this for now to do our one, two, three, four, five booyah. So the base in the middle is going to be relatively. The base in the middle is going to be relatively small, seven by seven, uh, more of a fighting area. The majority of the base will be underground, actually, with storage and whatnot. But um, the idea is to test to see how the zombie AI does with um, navigating around obstacles and through things. So. This may be an unfair test. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. But um, like the like the test with the um, with the platform, you know, you got to you, you got to experiment. So I think we decided that more like out in a thisserly area, kind of away from the road and kind of still flat. I mean, we're not going to... I don't want to have to dig... Oh, there's a path and everything. Going out to that car. It's been a really special car. So 
So let's see here. So if we, I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. I mean, if we call this like the middle, and then we go 15 in each direction. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then 15 out this away. Can I pick you? Can I break you? Funk, I break you. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, uh, okay. Twelve. 13, 14, 14, 15. So that should be 31. And we probably want to take a few more away from this side. Let's say one, two, three, four. And then add four over here. Okay. So let's let's count out 15 and find our middle now that we've moved everything around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Middle? Is that right? Oh, I'm so bad at the counting stuff. For sure. Oh, pig. He's pig. That's very lucky. So this should be 15 and 15. Let's just confirm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That one's right. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <gasps> Perfect. And then... We will do, you know what we should do? We, we could be wicked smart about all this and let's get rid of the 16 shotgun cells because you know I'm never going to use that. Oops. So one, two, three, Five, six, seven. Oh, I don't have to count now. I just have to wait for that number to get down to 15, assuming I don't misplace one. There. And then over here we do the same. You know what? Let's just cut the grass. That should ease our ease our burden ever so slightly. Now please be even all the way. All right. So I think at this point we are. Ugh. Um, seeds, seeds. So I think at this point we are basically set, right? So what we're going to do first is we are going to set up our sort of central base oh hello miss did you bring mini muffins nope you didn't bring mini muffins you are terrible at welcome wagoning so the middle is going to be seven by seven so let's see here 
One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, if we, I probably could have left that one. One, one, two, three. Then this will be a seven. Like a soul. And then that will match up with this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Oops. Okay. All righty then. Now, did I bring... I brought a hammer. Eh. Should have brought a nail gun, but I did not. Now these will make steel and then we could do poles around. Um, let's see here. So 24, I think, is that right? Seven plus seven is 14 plus 10 is 24 that sh this should be correct I'm pretty sure and then we probably want to do that twice so we'll do 24 again These can get upgraded while we wait. And then build this around. So we want to have a ground level shooting area and then we'll also have an up above shooting area so that we will have all the shooting areas covered. So let's upgrade these while the rest are cooking. And up your daisy. And then I think all of this will again be steel so that we are not worried about things that we need not worry about. Let's upgrade that while we're thinking about it. Perfect. We counted that exactly correct. You knew, you knew that was going to happen. All righty then. Let's nerd pull out of this piece. Actually, we can probably do more of a stair kind of a sitch and I probably should have stayed up there but we can hit the corners from here do the same on the other side and then just connect everything around like so Yeah. 
just get this whole thing did. Perfect. Now. Now, we'll, I will probably have to make a couple more trips back and forth just to get things um, moved. Oh, so why can't I move? Moved over. But eventually, I want this to be a completely self-sufficient base. So, and I think with all the biomes around us, a close source of water, um, we will be just fine in that regard. Perfect. Look at that. We already got a thing. And we're not even, you know, already got a thing. And not even working all that hard at it. So the question is, do we make this the floor level or go up one more? And I'm kind of thinking we go up one more. And make this the floor. I think that is wise. So we build up to this. We get this did. Biggie, I see you. You're going to be delicious in a moment. All right. So that is that sorted and done and dusted. So... So we can get in and we can get out i mean obviously this is not these are not going to be our points of ingress and egress when the actual base is done we will have some sort of underground tunnel um which we will have maybe it'll go out to that house and we'll come out in that little that'll be our safety house i did one of those in like alpha 11 i think i built on the edge of a a small town back in the small town days and i like filled the inside with concrete so it was super safe but uh but it still went out to that area so let's see here um we should probably just go ahead and build a construction storage chest so we can dump all our stuff in it um as soon as we have room therefore and place it right here on the beaten path <gasps> perfect Let's see. Let's get rid of all this stuff in our hood. And don't need with that. Let's get the rest of the stuff out of the garbage. And then we will... Hopefully some of that will start to dry. I think that 7x7 seven seven with wet concrete, I think we can still place a wood floor. I'm not entirely sure. But let's get the rest of our stuff out to garbage and move our bike so we don't lose it. I should probably clean up the Des Bris. Worst neighbor ever. What's in here? Oh, no. He was untouched. Wait. I think some of the residents at the Notel Hotel are... Uh, Where are you? Are you in the garage? Are you in the garage? Not that I'm distracted much or anything. What are you doing?
Oh. Um, no. Yes. And no. Perfect. Alrighty then. Let's go up the stairs. And out the door. Grab the bike. And get our stuff situated. And doop, you gone. What a pretty skirt you got there, man. It's a kilt. It's a kilt. There's that cinder block. There's that cinder block. All right. I'm not entirely sure where we're setting up our base of operation. So I was going to, I thought I brought a workbench. I did. I did. It was fine. So let's just complete the box while we're waiting for the thing to dry. So we can get a sense of where everything will go. And it appears that everything is going to be cooperative and super flat for us. So that will make this build much easier because when I did this build back in like alpha nine or 10, I cannot remember. Um, I stupidly built it in such a way that I had to terraform a bunch. Wow. Now that I'm like, now that I'm like doing this, this feels super tiny. Hmm. I may have to, uh, recalculate the, the maze simply because I feel like that's just not big enough for our needs. I mean, maybe it'll be okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is this it? I think this is it. I think this is where we cross over. This is where we cross over John Edward style. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Why? 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 All these nasty, nasty, what? There. Brr. Yeah, see now looking at this, it looks so tiny. I don't know, Pat, I don't know. I don't feel like we'll have the level of fun that I was envisioning by just having a 31 by 31. Am I off by, I'm off by one. I'm off by one. So the maze that we are building from may not be the same maze I just showed you because I just feel like this is so small that it will not be much fun for us or the zombies. And really, that is the key. If we are both able to have good time, um, that is the ideal sitch. Because we want to challenge them you know, challenge their look, whatever, whatever little bits of their brain are left. Hmm. Let's head upstairs and see. 
what we think of all of that. Yep, didn't 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 mean to do that. Oh, that was the problem. That was the problem. Hmm. Yeah, it's too small. Size matters. So don't believe the lie. So I'm going to have to figure out a bigger maze. So, yep. Yep, because even if we amaze this up, I mean, it's going to be, it's, it's got to go out at least another fly, fly, fly blocks, fly box in every direction. Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm going to have to work that out with my brain and, um, and do that. But we are out of time for this episode anyway. So that is what is going to happen. I will come up with a bigger, bigger maze. Obviously, we are sort of pot committed to this being the center. So I may have to do some, I may have to do some leveling if we move too far, at least out in this direction. But maybe it won't be too bad. It's just like one block. So that won't be terrible. But yeah, for sure. And definitely, 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 definitely bigger. So next episode, we will have a bigger maze. And uh, I will have a bigger box around said uh, amazing base. And uh, we will begin production of say, maze, said maze. So... That's what's happening next. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to start a conversation, why don't you start one? Where? In the comment section below. Oh, I'm going to need so much material for this. It's a pretty crazy. Crazy, crazy. Thanks for watching. And have a great day.